If you want to add an option to enter an invoice number or other custom fields in CardPoint Online, this video is going to show you how. In fact, if you want to customize the virtual terminal checkout process within CardPoint, I'll show you how to add your own custom fields such as notes or other internal customer fields specific to your company and how to set those fields to be optional or mandatory if you choose. Here's what to do. You come over to the administration tab and click the user fields sub tab. As you can see, there are 10 open user fields that you can customize. Let's add an invoice number and a general notes field to our receipt by checking this box box to make each of those two fields active. I have pre-filled these labels into the account that you're seeing right now, so on your account these boxes will be blank. The label column is the title of the field descriptor and is what shows up in the virtual terminal screen once you save these changes. You have the option to add each unique field to either the customer profile or the transaction details section on the virtual terminal screen. We'll click back over to those in just a second and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to add the invoice number to the transaction details section and the general notes field to the customer profile. I'm going to make the invoice number required by checking this box here and the general notes will be optional so I'll leave it unchecked. I'll save the changes and we'll come back over to the virtual terminal tab. When I scroll down you can see the new fields have been added. You'll notice that the general notes field appears right here giving you the option to make notes on a specific transaction and the invoice number appears down here in the transaction details section. You can also see that it has an asterisk next to it denoting that this is a required field in order to process the transaction. These additional fields will show up on the transaction details page when you go into the reporting tab to view this or any other transaction that's processed this way. Lastly, if you want to add additional fields or modify existing fields, you can do so by just coming back to the administration tab and making the necessary changes just as I've shown you here. If you have any other questions about adding or deleting custom fields within CardPoint, just click the link in the description box to get in touch. I'm Brian Manning and thanks for watching.